I'm Sierra Upton reporting from the Douglas County Courthouse. A law that would make it legal for charities to hold raffles in Kansas is on the ballot today. The topic's been overshadowed by other issues, but remains a concern for nonprofit organizations in Lawrence. Any form of lottery is illegal for nonprofits in Kansas. Raffles are considered a type of lottery. Longtime Lawrence resident Thomas Bryce doesn't like the idea of gambling. So I understand the idea of, of making the money and putting it to good use, but I don't think it's right to put people's lives, their emotions, their livelihoods at risk for someone to profit. Kate Meggy moved from Illinois in August to run the Lawrence Humane Society. She says raffles only make up a modest part of nonprofit fundraising, so changing the law would benefit smaller organizations the most. It would be really nice if, if it were official and legitimate because it's a, it's a great way to raise, raise money for some of our smaller organizations. A lot of us depend on the five and ten dollar donations. Meg G wanted to hold a raffle in August, but was surprised to learn that was illegal. The, the last raffle we did in Champaign for the synagogue that I was with made a lot of money. We raffled off an iPad, we raffled off you know cash prizes. Is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great way to raise money for a good cause. Bryce says he's concerned the amendment would lead to looser gambling laws. It's one, one thing to raffle off a, a quilt or something for a charity or whatever, but it seems like if you open the door for that, then you really can't close the door on other things. Kansas Senate and House passed the amendment last spring, giving voters the final say. Meg G's already planning her next move if the amendment passes. I would love to do a photo contest. We could vote on it or you know raffle off you know for the cutest pictures I, there, there are so many options we could do I have tons of ideas so. the amendment still wouldn't allow these nonprofits to work with professional lottery companies or use electronic gambling machines if a majority of Kansans vote yes lawmakers will get together during the next legislative session and write statutes regulating these raffles it's likely these changes will not go into effect until the summer of next year Reporting from Lawrence, Kansas, I'm Sierra Upton, KUJH News.